personal log. Mission Specialist Kate Ward, Sentient Contact Assessment and Response Team. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We observed and explored, but found nothing. Until now. Score mission control to Hermes. Status check. All systems nominal. We're working on a solution for our scan power requirement. We'll update soon. Roger that, Hermes. Keep us posted. Kate, we have an issue. Problem with the scan? We've underestimated the power requirements necessary to penetrate the Metahedron's hull. Mike has an idea, but he could use a hand. He's in the lab and I'll give you the details. On my way. It has been six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above the Earth's atmosphere. Hey, Kate. I think I figured out a way to give us the power we need for the scan. I've attached the scanners directly to the engines. Wow. Directly? Brave. I think it'll work, but we need to find a way to kickstart the process with around 500,000 volts. Do we still have those SLD-26 welders in the equipment room? Yeah, I think we have one or two, but why do you... Oh! Oh! You want to modify it to discharge high voltage electricity. <laughs> and you call me brave. <laughs> oh boy. Now I need to craft a rail module at the mobile printing unit. There. It should be strong enough to direct and focus the electrical current. And now to fit all this together. Only missing a power source. I have to adjust the frequency of the Tesla coil first. I see Mr. Jefferson is in the lab today. Yeah, I never leave my home planet without him. There. Now just to calibrate the output voltage. Looks like a space blaster. Just a tool, nothing else. It's a vectorized energy rail accelerator, discharging electrical- Vera! Let's call it Vera for short. You sure like to name things. <laughs> Vera it is. Mike, I'm in front of the reactor. What's the best way to power it with extra energy? See the three positronic nodes surrounding the core? A jolt to each one would be sufficient. Yes! Keep it up! Almost there. We need a little more energy for the reaction. Come on. Let's try a direct shot to the core. Straight to the heart. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous at all. A direct It's working! I'm feeding the excess power directly to the scanner. I haven't seen you shoot like this since the college rifle championship. Yeah, I also remember you taking first place from me. And don't you forget it. Good job. Dr. Ward, Dr. Yoshida, get to the bridge, please. Time to see what's inside our alien guest. I should return Vera to the equipment room. She served her purpose. Telemetry check. Telemetry check. We're go. How are we doing with that sensor array, Mike? We're ready, Commander. You have the honors, Dr. Ward. Take your place when ready and start the scan. Excess energy seems to have done the trick. 
The array is locked on the metahedron and operating at almost 200% of its standard efficiency. Say the word, Commander. In just a moment, Dr. Ward. Team, can I have your attention, please? Since the dawn of humankind, our species has gazed toward the skies and wondered whether we were truly alone. Well, six months ago, we got our answer. And with it came new questions. What is this object in front of us? Where did it come from? Who sent it? And why? And while the governments, leaders, thinkers, and common people discussed the meaning of this event, we were training. We were preparing. The SCAR team. Now, the whole world is relying on us. We're dreamers and skeptics. We're explorers and pioneers. With hearts and minds. With courage and resolution. With trust and fellowship. With science. We're going to give the world their answers. And in this historic moment at the conjunction of hopes and fears, there's no people I'd rather face the unknown with. Dr. Ward, you have the honors. Let's do this. Yes, Commander. <sighs> Scared? Of course I am. I thought you army pilots were trained not to be. <laughs> we're trained to control it. The fear keeps us sharp. How are you holding up, Doctor? Oh, I'm 100% sharp, all right. <laughs> so, do you think it's a weapon? Well, a weapon is a very human concept. Perhaps what we perceive as a weapon is just a tool. Wait, the scan. The metahedron's energy levels are rising rapidly. Okay, what happened? Power supply failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. I'll try to reroute. Look, the metahedron, it's... It's creating some sort of a gravity well. The Hermes is being pulled towards it. Hang on, everyone. Dr. Ward! Kate! Commander Robinson? Tam? Mike? Anyone? Where are you? What is this place? What's happening? Saya. Donna. Who was that? Where, where am I? How is this possible? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? So 
some sort of alien structure. Emergency signal. It must be someone from the team. I have to get to them. The debris, it's... it's from the Hermes. It, it must have splintered a scar field backpack. <sighs> Empty, but still useful. This electric cutter can cut through even the toughest materials. I'd better take it with me. Log entry. A joint-legged invertebrate life form, similar to Arachnida. Fast movement, small frame. Seems to move inwards. <laughs> They're dead. Must be a gate of some sorts. But there's no log entry. The gate has an internal conduction system. The three points on the rim seem sensitive. A targeted blast of electricity could cause a reaction. Increase the current. Just a bit. We don't want to fry the coil. There. Awesome. We did it, Kate. I remember this. Mike and I were finishing our electrical experiment just after lunch. Vera, it's still intact. through entrails. Log entry. I found a strange alien cube. It's emitting neural waves. This means it has the potential to send information directly to the brain. Log entry. Large joint-legged organism. The chemicals in its abdomen can create an explosion when heated to a certain temperature.
another one of these pillars. These cables, they're from the Hermes. Flesh-like webbing. I have to break through it. Log entry. Strong organic tissue, but the blisters appear to be filled with diethyl ether. Most likely flammable. Tree. This is a bio vessel for an indigenous creature. The shell seems highly combustible. It contains an organism that is almost fully formed. I better not touch it. This equipment, it, it's from the Hermes, but. We were there just an hour ago. Commander Robinson loves this book. The whole place is covered with some kind of organic residue. Commander Richard Robinson, log entry. Ever since I left the Her Ever since he left the Hermes, but Maybe... Yes. I can print a custom emitter with the MPU, connect it with the thermic module, and attach it all to the welder's frame. This might burn straight through that flesh-like webbing. And I'm taking the MPU. the energy points on this gate. Perhaps they're on the other side.
log entry. I have cataloged all of the medical supplies for our mission. Potent stuff. Boosters, stimulants, bio-enhancers. I know our mission will have plenty of unknowns, but this seems like overkill. <laughs> Better save than die <laughs> Such a colossal structure be energy relocation. How far would you go? The whole backpack is covered in organic residue. Robinson must have lost balance and grabbed this rock. Seemed like he... Robinson's boot. Apparently he was heading towards the water? Carnivorous worm-like organisms secreting acidic saliva. It would melt my suit and my flesh in moments. Issues walking, but pushed himself into the worm-infested water. The worms converged on him. They seemed to fuse with his body. What happened to you, Richard? His signal is on the other side. Somehow he got through the worms. I won't last a moment, but I must find a way across. see the energy points on the gate from this side.
god. of these creatures goes beyond typical territorial behavior. Is something causing such hostility? from some kind of experiment. Creatures, it, it looks like their secretion is freezing the water. I better stick to the frozen surface if I don't want to be eaten alive. Producing large quantities of that freezing solution.
Huh. The appendages are dripping with the fluid that's freezing the water. There's the brain. The deutocerebrum seems to be generating an electrical charge. The cocktail of digestive acids is dissolving local plant life into homogenous matter. The process seems to be aided by bioelectricity. This gland is secreting the cryogenic fluid that's freezing the water. And this neural pathway is conducting large amounts of bioelectricity. The creature is mixing bioelectricity with whatever it digests to generate an enzyme. And the enzyme is used to create a cryogenic fluid in the cranial gland. So if I take a sample, I might be able to replicate the process. I might be able to use this to craft some kind of cryogenic device with the MPU. It could help me to get through the worms. See if this device works. It's working. This way should take me back to the monolith. Log entry. I'm detecting strong electrical energy inside the sack. If the protective membrane is hit with an electric charge, it will explode.
device could be a part of a larger whole. of some sort. Two parts are missing.
log entry. The bulbous growths on the creature's back act as storage for enormous quantities of digestive enzymes. Rupturing them will deal massive damage and incapacitate the creature. be useful. Appears to be three power sources. indistinguishable from magic.
monsters. They, they are letting me pass. My body, the growth, I have to, I have to cleanse it. Burn the growth! Burn! Burn at you! Ah! Burn it! What? What is wrong with Richard? Commander Robinson? Doom 